we have a warrant for whoop de whoop whoop de whoop And all the guns just point at me. I'm like, oh! Well, I guess I gotta tell you guys the truth. So I was working with a big uh, R&B group. They used to be called, uh, they still called Jagged Edge, you know what I mean? But um, one of the members is like real close to me. So we used to be just in the street, just running around, but we all wanted to rap and he had the studio at this spot called The Corner. So one night he leaves to go do like a, a show or something somewhere. And um, we're at the house by ourselves and we got some bitches over it. We got the, like, yeah, we having a party and shit. You know, it's some weed everywhere, we drink, everything. So we end up, you know, having a great time. It's me and like seven other dudes there and a couple more people. And we just end up passing out in the basement, in the studio or in the, on the couch. Everybody's passed out everywhere. And I remember waking up in the morning from off the couch in the living room. And I'm like, man, I gotta take a piss. So I'm like sleepwalking to the door, like, I mean, to the bathroom, like, oh, okay, I'll get to the bathroom. So I go to take a piss in the bathroom. And as I come out here, somebody knock on the door, like, do, 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 nice knock. And I look out, and it's a, a lady in a Georgia Power shirt. So I open the door, blue. All you see is, we have a warrant for whoop de whoop whoop de whoop And all the guns just point at me. I'm like, oh! So it's like SWAT team on this side of the house. SWAT team on this side. They come out from behind the cars. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what is this? What is this? So they lay me on the ground. Don't move, don't move. So I lay on the ground. They handcuff me. They put me on the ground. So they end up getting all my friends, and they put us on the ground. We're like, what the hell is going on? And all we hear is, oh, we found something. We like, oh, no. So as we doing that, they coming out of the study, got this big duffel, two duffel bags. We found it, so they found a bunch of weed. It's like 50, 60 pounds. We like, oh, so they starting to find firearms and everything. We like, oh, we're gone. They take all of us to jail, and when we pull up at the jail, I'm like, oh, God. So we get in here, and you know, we're going through booking and everything. So once they split us up, it's like two of my guys, and then this one random dude. We don't know what he's in here for. So. They end up taking us to go dress out because we got we got to go in now. So I end up not having to take off my underwear, but I realized once I was in there, I had seven grams of Kush in my nuts. So I got seven grams. So we walk in. They don't make me take my drawers. So we go in. So as I got my mat and my stuff, the dude, the random dude who was in there, as soon as he walked through, they get the whoop in them. I'm so scared now, cause I'm thinking this is like an initiation <laughs> into this jail cell. So they whoop the boo, -doo -doo. so they go eh, eh, eh. I have to go back in, and they have to drag him out. Then I think by five minutes they get chaos in order, and they let me in. And the dude was like, Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. We don't we don't deal with kid, uh, dudes who beat up their their kids or their babies. Like he dropped the baby or like some on the ground. I'm like, Whoa! As soon as I get in there, the news come on. So everybody, all the everybody in jail watching the news, boom, boom. And you know, the dude I'm with, he snatched the remote control, he turned it to the news. Breaking news. Six individuals was woo doo woo woo doo found with over 50 pounds of marijuana, woo -doo. And then they just start putting our faces up on the TV. I'm like, no, Lord, no, Lord, no, no. My picture comes up, boom. Here, you just see all 40 inmates look like. I'm like, oh, I'm about to die. <laughs> I didn't know I was about to die. They all was like, oh, you the plug, bro! So everybody in here like, yo, yo, bro, you rap, you woo do woo do rap something for us. I had a dream that I was free at last. I used to be a thief, now I'm Malik Shabazz. All my niggas shooters and they keep a mask. Everybody like, yo, these are like straight killers. Like, this dude is incredible. Who the woo? So, moral of the story, I was like, yo. These, my raps just won this whole dorm of like street dudes over. So I was like, yo, I got a finishing move. Gross, I got all y'all. I pull out the silver, they was like, you're a legend. <laughs> so I just got the pick, cause I'm scared. I'm just giving it to them like, so the whole dorm is just smoked out while I'm in here. And when I mean the whole jail was shaking, Every inmate beating on the wall, boom, talking about from the first floor to the top floor with killers and blue, blue, man, let them go, man, they good guys, blue, blue, blue. And that's how I survived.